is 731 and joining us in studio this morning from Carabelli Dental, we have Dr. Sarah Usher with us. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you, Mike? Doing good. Uh, Dr. Agar will should be here in a few minutes. He's, uh, he's, I, I think he's stomping out some fires actually, but uh, uh, <laughs> fashionably late. That's Dr. Agar, you know, there you he'll, go. he'll roll in with something real good to tell us. He'll come in real <laughs> flustered and everything in here in just a few minutes, but yeah. uh, good morning. How are you doing? Wonderful. Thanks for good. having me this morning. Super Anytime. Fun. How's, uh, how's life at the dentist go- office going? Drilling and filling. Yeah. Yeah. Keep an eye. Uh, it's been, uh, it's been a couple months since I've been in here and yeah, yes. you guys were just kind of going. Yeah. Matter of fact, I saw, oops, Whoop. I saw you last time. Yeah. Uh, last, I think Kim was out of town or something. Doing that day. something. Yeah. Probably putting out fires. <laughs> <laughs> good deal. But yeah, things uh, things going good. Keeping yes. busy. And, things uh, have been going good. We've had a, a steady flow of, you know, patients coming in and uh, taking care of some good things over the spring for people. And now that summer is coming in, I think we have a lot of opportunity and uh, to have people in, especially the kids for wisdom teeth, things good. like that. So uh, I think we're off to a good start. That's for sure. Good. I'm I'm curious uh, are we past like the 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 covid flux for people because you know obviously sure. some people were were probably apprehensive to come come you know just because the world we yes. lived in and so some people may uh took some time off from see- making their regular scheduled yes. dental things and so is it starting to get back to normal that way where people are mm-hmm. just back to the getting there, you know, coming in every six months or, you know, coming in for whatever procedures they need. Yeah, I I think that we've, uh, interestingly enough, we've been, we've been having a lot of conversations with patients where it's like, hey, it's been a while, like, don't get mad, you know, like, don't, (laughs) you know, I'm sorry. But it's like, I think we're, we're getting those people in where they haven't been in in two years or whatever. And now they're like, oh, shoot, I forgot. I got to, you know, I got to do that. So um, we're, we're seeing those individuals come in now. So I think we're getting back to um, a regular schedule with everyone, the every six months cleanings, things Good. like that. And, you know, a lot of times we're actually finding something that, thank goodness, they came in because these past two years maybe have, you know, led that cavity got a little bit bigger or something Absolutely. like that. So um, it's nice to see them in the office that we can take care of it before it really becomes this bigger issue. So, yeah, it's sure. Nice. Well, and that's the thing. And that's why, you know, Folks come in every mm-hmm. six months for a cleaning, and and because if you do that regularly, you you find you'll have look at this guy with the Hawaiian oh, shirt and everything. <laughs> oh, put it, oh, putting out fires, yeah, <laughs> Hawaiian shirt and all. <laughs> with his empty mai tai glass. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he put down on the bench. R- 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 with a hot rough night. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Keon Agar officially in studio with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Dr. Agar. Sorry for being late. At a, no, no problem. No, our our house was uh it was it was nice and warm this morning. Oh. I'm trying to figure out why it was so hot in the house. So. Yeah, it's not. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, and the only tools May. I have is duct tape. So I just like well, just duct tape everything and it should work, right? It, that works in the Air Force, not <laughs> right, so much yeah. in other aspects of life. They'll, or, they'll in tund- or in Tundra, Alaska, we were having a little conversation about that. Duct tape is like the tool of the yeah, tool of choice. That's out right. There. When in doubt, duck it. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We were just talking. I was just talking to Doctor Agar yesterday about how he was fixing something else in the house. And oh my gosh, it's, a, it's it, the uh, the <laughs> it's exact. I'll probably not ever buy a house from the 1950s again. Ah, yeah. We had a last weekend. It was the the we we flooded. Oh god. And then this weekend the AC's going out. It's fun. It's got uh, good bones though, right? Good bones. <laughs> that has good bones. Good bones. Uh... And that's about it. Yeah, I, I, and I get and big just... trees and big trees. Oh, see, so that's, that's the cool, cool part. Cool. Yeah, you, you like I want a mature how mature yard with right, the, right, right, community, right. Yeah. the yeah. community. Yeah, and, and and let's face it, things were built better in the past, you know. Sure, and so sure. you're thinking, yeah, I'm sure the house from the '50s is built to withstand a storm. Or <laughs> these I think it's lasted this long, right? Yeah. And, and and you're right in many aspects, but yeah. things like pipes wear yeah. out yep. and yep. and yes. and, and electrical. You know, they weren't doing yes. things the same with electrical in the right. '40s that they're doing right. nowadays. You know, <laughs> it's so. kind of like anything; it, things just wear out. People, yeah. you know, and and like it's just the same way we get wrinkles as we get older and white sure. hair and you know longer teeth when so, you get long in the tooth. You know, things just get you know <laughs> things start wearing out. Do so you like how I tied it back into? I know. Like, well, like well, I gotta, I'm curious now because I, I, you're handy. You know, doing. Oral skills. Sure, sure, yeah. It, it, but, I, 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 but I'm actual, excellent in a dark, har- wet cave. Okay, what, yeah. like carpentry or electrical or plumbing work? Not as good these? as her husband. His husband's like a, like yeah. a master. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm all right. I can hang. Okay. But well, not. I'm not a, I'm not a, like, a, you know, I would not 
refer to myself as a contractor gotcha. at all. Gotcha. Yeah. No way. Are you? <laughs> no, D- it's not. Are you a DIY or whatever? No, but I can. I mean, I can. It's I, a like, DIY with duct tape. That's that's yeah, yeah. that yeah. should yeah. explain it. If it's what if it's D yeah, do it yourself yes. is a, a roll of duct tape and yes. maybe yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like it's like Doctor uh, Keon will like get it ready for um, RPM tomorrow, gotcha. and then they'll come in and they'll yeah. like do their magic. Yep. Do the setup work. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. yeah. Get like you. last week, set them up and let them knock them down. Yeah. RPM came out like on a Saturday, and it was like you know one guy came out. I just helped him, and you know I can do that. But it was like what I know. But shout out to, to them, right? Because they kind of saved your weekend. Them. Save, sure. saved our butt. We had a nice. We we had a pool in our basement. Oh, we had you a didn't pool want that. Now. I did not want. <laughs> I really. A, I, I would pool. love a pool. I, a, would, yeah. I would love a pool, but not not uh, not in my house. So uh, <laughs> right. shout out to RPM. He didn't want an indoor they, pool. Yeah, <laughs> not like your bark lines are floating in <laughs> right. the bottom there. Right. So. Well, uh, uh, well, good. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the. No, it's good. It's, uh, it, uh, it'll be a good weight loss uh, strategy. Of course, know. now that's hot in your house, that pool would be very handy. No, the, the pool is the pool is so now we, gone oh, though. Wait. The problem is we fixed the pool. But yeah. He has an indoor pool and a, a wet sauna now. Sauna yeah. Now. Wow. Yeah, we're. Uh, I haven't been invited to this yeah, new gym at his house. We're basically since the Roswell uh, racquetball <laughs> club closed. Yeah. We're 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 just starting You're taking our own. over. We're taking it over. <laughs> this is his version of DIY. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> But Poor instead of like guy. weights and stuff, he's got parkour stuff. Like, here's the yes. lift the cabinet and hang yeah, it on the yeah. wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, we also good. have like baby gates all through the house. So it's like, you know, there's a little bit of, you have to jump over the gate. Uh, there's, there's, yeah, there's a lot of parkour equipment obstacles. all over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't dr- don't walk on the balls, you know stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty soon you're gonna be a gazelle and the, you know get the oh, yeah. skills of Spider Man. <laughs> 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 well, um, something you know what we were talking about right before we were talking about people getting back in and things. Yes, um, I, I'm kind of curious too, where because like you said, a lot of people went through you know we're going through COVID and things. You know, meals, everything's kind of out of kilter. So, mm-hmm. you know, like you said, if if you're not going that every six months, and that's where you can catch those little things. But, but even people's worlds have been different. So maybe their diets have changed. Absolutely, and all that impacts you know your your teeth health, right? Absolutely. I mean, you always. I remember as kids, they stop eating so much sugar, you're going to get a cavity and stuff. And okay, I mean, granted, uh, that might be a <laughs> bit extreme, but. But at the end of the day, yeah, there there are certain foods and things that are more destructive to teeth than others, and mm-hmm. and if you're having a diet of more of that, and um, it, it it creates opportunities for more you know problems, problems right? and things. The like other that. things is that over two years, kids have grown, right? So hopefully. families haven't been, in, yeah, hopefully families <laughs> haven't been in. And what I what I'm talking about when I yeah, like, <laughs> I beat this, <laughs> so I'm not right. Here. Chuckle. <laughs> but. We get, we've been one of the things that we've been noticing when we were talking about wisdom teeth and stuff is these kids, you're, they haven't been to the dentist. And so maybe the x rays that we took two years ago didn't show wisdom teeth growing and things sure. like that. So now they come back for their little cleaning. And I'm like, hey, mom, actually, like, it's it's time to get these wisdom teeth taken out, you know? Yeah, so, but like the wisdom teeth are coming in, and so is like the, you know, the peach fuzz. So, I mean, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like a great surprise. It's right. Just, yeah. Their voice is dropped from six octaves. They're like, you know, like, you know. <laughs> but I will say but, that. But wh- the wisdom teeth. People, it's like a, the whole oral cavity thing, though. People don't really remember about the teeth, right? It's like, right. oh yeah, I guess we do have to do that. So it's kind of cool that we can like help parents, remind parents, things like that yeah. about you know that. that I'm part curious, of it. you know, since we're talking wisdom teeth, like, yes. are they? Are, is that just like an evolutionary thing, or are there teeth that we don't need no yeah. more? Or yeah. I mean, is that? Yeah. So they they've done studies and stuff, and like people have less wisdom teeth now yeah. uh, mm-hmm. than they did, you know, 500 years ago, and then less than they did. 10,000 years ago. So we kind of like evolved to have less of them. Okay. I mean, I, but like I we would like lose front teeth and then those, everything would kind of shift or, or you and lose come your in. molars. So like, then now yeah. you have, oh, here's this like bonus set of teeth. So, oh, now we do have these teeth to come in. Okay. But we don't lose those teeth anymore, right? We take care of them and, you gotcha. know, all that jazz. And so. to be honest, there are, you know, there are sometimes when kids come in and like they have, they have, uh, you know, whether it was because of a growth anomaly, mm-hmm. um, they're like their they're adult teeth, their adult molars come in and they're just not good. Uh, when they're like six years old, they get these like six year molars, and sometimes they don't come in right. right. The kid had a fever when they were little, or mom was sick during pregnancy, or whatever. Those teeth don't form all the way, yeah. and sometimes we just take them out. We say, "Hey, you got this extra set behind it. Mm-hmm. You got two more coming in, and you're not gonna have room for three. So let's just take these out now." There's a, it's, it's, you know, so there's different situations and stuff, but, um, you know. It's funny, I'll tell kids, because sometimes we get kids come in, they have only three wisdom teeth. They're like, what? This is crazy. Yeah. But I had five. 
So pretty much I'm more like a chimp uh, than like any of my patients. So I had five wisdom teeth. But um, okay. so evolutionarily, uh, you know where I'm at in the in the line of things. Yeah. But one thing I was going to say about that. That's more advanced, right? That's where I go. No, no, no. I, it's, it, it's not. <laughs> Tell people. Yeah. Like, I got extra. You know? yeah. Remember that DIY conversation? <laughs> yeah, more like, uh, you know, yeah, our, our predecessors. But no, as far as what I've, one thing I didn't expect to see, and a lot of people come in, um, and I think it's one of those things that you get a lot of people who have had bad experience with the dentist, they don't like going to the dentist, mm-hmm. and then COVID, you know, things shut down, they got their appointments scheduled, rescheduled, canceled, mm-hmm. and I think it's like anything. If you follow your routine, you sure. go to the gym, you follow your routine, you stop going to the gym, you kind of want to go back again. You sure. know, it's hard to get back in that routine. Especially and, if there's no reason. You know, if you don't feel a reason. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so nothing's hurting or whatever. Or right. Yeah. 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 So it's it's one of those things. It's the easiest thing in the world to just say, hey, you know, I had, I missed it because of COVID. And then it was kind of weird for a while. And everything's kind of strange. The world got turned upside down for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And that was, it, while it was two years ago, you know, um, you know, there's a lot of people, there's so many people, more than I ever thought there would be, or like, okay, now I'm finally like, all right, it's starting to hurt. Mm-hmm. I got to come in now, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 but that's been one of those things, and they're always apologizing, and I'm like, well, stop apologizing, you're here. Right. Like, that's like, if I was a gym trainer, you know, mm-hmm. being like, hey, who cares what you did in the past? Sure. All that matters is today's workout and tomorrow's right. workout and how you diet now. Like, that's all that matters going forward. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. Mm-hmm. Sure. So a lot of people come in, they're all super apologetic, and I think we're going to judge them. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's get this figured out, and it's it's t- let's just take care of it. I think we're just used to being yelled at by doctors. <laughs> sure, sure, but but it's but it's not that. It's it's yeah. uh it's one of those things that like, you know, it's for us to empower our patients to, um, you know, have the health that they want to have. Sure, it's, it's a team process, and it's not me yelling at them or whatever. It's me saying, hey. This is what's going on. This is how we're going to fix it. And uh, and then we get to move on. Yeah. You know, so. I think our team, that's one of the strengths of our team, too. In general, we talk about that a lot when we come in is how it's like a, kind of like a judge-free zone, right? Mm-hmm. It's like we're here to help the patients with whatever their goals are and, you know, all that jazz. So um, I, I commend our team because there's so many different places. And, you like, I mean, I've been in your, you know, you mentioned it. That's how we were used to the doctor telling us what to do and why didn't you do it, you know? Sure. And I think that our team has a really um, a, a strong, compassionate arm where, we're, where we understand, as Dr. Agar mm-hmm. mentioned, like, hey, this is maybe the situations we were all in at one point, you know, COVID, whatever might have happened. And now you're here. So... Well, let's what can we do now right sure. let's make a plan you're a part of this plan it's not me telling you what to do what you need it's like hey what do you want sure and let's make this at the plan end of the day together. you're the one who's got to live with these teeth and yeah. and and, 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 yeah. and you guys you know you want to make them happy and healthy yes. with it and 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 to be honest that's not the same answer for every person definitely you know? not it's, it's oh, absolutely really not you know what i mean some people it's depending on what they want what they're looking for what sure. you know some some people are like, well, I'm not so much on the the the, the visual, yeah, uh, sure. but, but I sure want functional, you yes, know. And so exactly. I don't care if they're the whitest of white, but you know what? Yeah, I want them to be well rooted and 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 serve their purpose. Which and is, I could chew into the the toughest of steak on the planet and be just good <laughs> exactly. to go. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. what's fun working with patients. That's the fun part is everyone has their own definition of perfect for them or, mm-hmm. or, or, you know, healthy for them, you know, and when, 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 it, when we run into those situations, it's fun because it's, it's not the same thing. A tooth is not a tooth, you know, mm-hmm. everything's different for everybody. So I think that's where we have a lot of fun with it too, is like everyone has a different um, request or expectation sure. and we can like meet that, you know, so it's super fun. And I imagine there's, you do get some people that, because if you've dealt with something with your tooth, your teeth, your whole life, and I'm not talking like pain. I'm talking like mm-hmm. crooked teeth or, sure. the, you know, the, yeah. an overbite or something like that. Sure. And you, but you've, you've dealt your whole life with it. And so yes. you're kind of like, well, I'm, I'm kind of good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And so, and, and, and so people get nervous of, well, what if they fix it? Is it going to feel way weird and different sure. now? And, and so it's not, it's not I, you. I've and never, some people yeah. weigh that kind of stuff. Exactly. I've never had a patient. I mean, I had a guy, you know, uh, a patient who's just, there, there's people that stand out. We all yeah. our patients, mm-hmm. we we really try to connect with and stuff. There's certain people that just stand out, and and mm-hmm. he just uh, like we you know we did a full makeover kind of deal. And when he came back in, um, the first thing he said after you know having him for a week was, "When are we going to do the bottoms?" Nice, you mm-hmm. know. And that was literally he was like, "I want to do the bottoms." I, he and he said, "So you know, he happy just, with the results." He was just like, like "I should have done this twenty years ago." He's like, "I've been you know I haven't smiled." Through high school, since high school, I haven't sure. really smiled, and I just kind of just like fake smile. And now, I mean, this guy just you know, ear to ear smiles, and he's just like, 
you just tell it just like he's getting wrinkles in his jaw just because he's smiling so much. And you just tell him, you just you know, but 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 he just you know it's one of those people that's just very memorable. But like he's his his first thing he said was I want to do the bottom. I don't know why I waited so long. Yeah. yeah, and so and it was it wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't anything just like it was just kind of like just getting things sure the right places and looking the right way and sure. and uh, and. You know, it wasn't like he had done something bad to his teeth, just how the teeth he got. Sure. Right? But something so. that, that he was very self-conscious about is oh, now yeah. gone. Yeah. And, yeah, next thing you know, that, that's that's a game. Anybody, and I think all of us have had one of those kind of moments in our life mm-hmm. where, where something you're not proud of or embarrassed about, and mm-hmm. then you get it fixed after years of coping with it mm-hmm. or dealing with it. And, and it's kind of like a, like a monkey or just a, a huge weight being lifted off your shoulders sometimes. And I'm sure yeah. that's what this gentleman's experience. Yeah. I, I, just I a, remember that day when when, he, when Dr. Agar had finished the, the you know, the, the that phase of his treatment. Mm-hmm. And I was like, smile for let me see. You know, like I was so excited for him. And he's like trying to smile and he's still numb. And I'm like, oh, come back next week. And smile real quick. <laughs> yeah. But Wait, he did. Practice. He came, yeah, he came back for his next appointment. It's just like, because I know we, we he's. He's been Dr. Dugger, you know, working with Dr. Dugger for quite some time and, mm-hmm. you know, and, and with uh, his plans and stuff. And so when the final result, it was just like, I think he was so excited. I mean, just like he said, we I can attest excited. to it, like yeah. ear to ear smile. And it's just like, whoa, this is so cool. Um, so, I mean, as you mentioned, it was it was an absolute life changer, as you sure. mentioned. And, yeah. and I, I don't think he knew really what was possible until mm-hmm. him and Dr. Agar sat down and said, hey, this is the plan. Mm-hmm. Do you want to move forward with this? I, I, I don't think that the the end result is always obvious to patients because they've never experienced it. They don't know what that looks sure. like. So in those situations, having that conversation with us and you know those, those full mouth makeovers mm-hmm. with Dr. Agar is like, is 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 important because then they can really understand wow you're you're really going to be able to smile like those selfies you really want to take you know those like photos at the wedding at the graduation like you're going to be able to smile and then you're going to go be able to have your steak dinner like you guys were talking about so it's 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 a reality and um it's something that's absolutely attainable for 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 many people you know you mentioned earlier like this guy is like i should have done this 20 years ago And, and i guess the caveat there is some of the technology you're probably sure. using today wasn't oh, yeah. around then, too. Yeah. So I would even offer for True. folks maybe, okay, maybe it's been a long time and you're thinking. Yes. But if you're thinking what they told you 20 years ago. Exactly. That It's night and day different now. Right. Exactly. On the way, dentures, even, you know, implants, any oh, of those yeah. different procedures, mm-hmm. it's all and different even, now. Even mm-hmm. in, the, you know, in the last couple of years, you mm-hmm. know, when, um, you know, like, for example, with Sean, we did a whole makeover on Sean. And... Even which we just finished that like what like a year and a half ago mm-hmm. maybe you know in that range and it's quite a it, it, it was, was a process a very huge process step by step process huge process yeah. that process is now so much more streamlined in our office to where it's a one day process wow and that's even in in, that, in Sean's and, case and yeah. he's only been like that was yeah. like a, a year or two and ago. that literally it's has not to that do that with the technology ago. that came out I yeah. mean like for example the scanner we we bought recently and and the, mm-hmm. now we're doing three D printing in the office like there's there's all this mm-hmm. stuff we're doing now it, with technology that didn't just wasn't there right you know things that just didn't but but going back to um you know as far as like what's like sarah said like that's a big part of it is like what i've learned a lot of times is there's two sides when a patient comes in as a doctor i might see everything but they know themselves better than i do sure Mm -hmm. but i can tell you where they can go better than they can and like you said or like sarah said they don't know they have never been there but we go there every week so Mm -hmm. we know what that final result is we it's more than just your teeth being whiter. It's more than just your teeth being the right shape or the bite or all these things. I mean, there's this like this, <clears throat> this whole like life changing deal that mm-hmm. happens with that. You know, it's not patients just patients can't tell you that. Yeah. Oh, I want this tooth to be here in this color and this shape. Yeah. No, that's our job. Your job is to tell me, look, I want to smile. Right. Like I want to I wanna, look at it. I want to hang with. out with my grandkids and have them see my right. normal, happy smile. Right. So they tell us that piece of it. And we're like, okay, cool. Like, you need shade A, you know, A1.532, and you just do this, this, and this measurement, you know? So we're the technical behind it, but tell us how you feel. Sure. Tell us what you want. Tell us how you want to feel, yeah, and then we sure. can get you to that place, you know? And I imagine dentist work is, there's a lot of family history there. So, sure, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of mm-hmm. medical, dental issues that a lot well, of a lot family of history. history. So, and that that that's very valuable from Absolutely. the patient to give that to you. Sure. So, I mean, if you've got a, a family history of a certain 
disease or genitive mm-hmm. issue, then y- yeah. you're like, okay, now I know what's going on here, and we, I've got just the thing to fix. And, sure. you, and you bring up a good point too about family in that respect, but also in, in these big cases, you know, there's always uh, there's always a level of family support. You know, um, Dr. Iger had another case in the uh, the other weekend. Um, it was a, it was a, a lady and his her um, husband was there, mm. and huge support for for her. And that's important to us is having someone who you really trust there with you in those planning stages because that person is going to also help guide the process as well you know they care about you they love you they want the best for you so them being a part of that planning mm-hmm. process is super important as Absolutely. well because it con- reconfirms with the patient and with 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 that relationship with that family member that hey this is where we're going and we're happy about this you know plus they're the ones that uh, get you home and everything when yeah. uh, when you're coming back off of the the goofy All the stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but it's true i mean you, you need that you All need the instructions that's right i've found that so many people and i and i and i if you know if for anybody who's like a parent out there as a parent you just automatically sit in this role where you always kind of put yourself last mm-hmm. right and i think a lot of people feel this like weird not weird it's very valid but it's this guilt that oh i don't want to do that because mm-hmm. it's an investment in myself right i could do this with that i could do that with that i could i could i could, so I could, I could right. do that and yeah. and it's and really important to have that not else. always it's really important to have that person and mm-hmm. a lot of times we'll tell people when they come in for their consultation or like when we're t- telling them hey this is what we're going to go with this mm-hmm. bring your what i call decision maker mm-hmm. who is that person in your life that needs to be there whether it's your daughter sure whether it's your your husband your whether sounding it's your board spouse mm-hmm. you're that person that's not because a lot of times people will be like you know on that drive home they'll be like no 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 i'm not worth it right but if that person that loves you is there, they're like, you are worth this. Sure. And a lot Let's of people are, it. the reason why their teeth end up the way they do is because they put themselves second, third, sure. fourth, fifth, last in their family for decades. Mm-hmm. So having that person is like, no, no, no. So, you know. Now it's your time. Yeah. That's right. Like, your yeah. mom, it's time for you to do this. Like, yeah. you deserve this. But but one thing I think is interesting about what Dr. Asher was saying is, uh, like, we kind of, I don't think we really, what I think like there's a bit like in the old school dentistry is like cosmetic dentistry. Mm-hmm. And I would think that I think the way we practice and it kind of just came naturally is something I would term like bioesthetic dentistry. Like basically like trying to get the biology back. Right. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't matter what the front teeth look like. If the back teeth, there's no back teeth, right. the front teeth are going to take a massive amount of damage. Sure. So getting people back to being healthy so they can chew their food appropriately. Sure. They can function. They can talk. They do all the things they're supposed to do. They don't end up with this giant tongue because the, the tongue will fill those spots. I mean, mm-hmm. they're, so they're, they end up getting to the sleep apnea and stuff. How do we get them to <clears throat> be, like, biologically healthy? Mm-hmm. They will feel good, right? And then if we make the teeth look good, too, then that's just part of it, sure. right? But it's, it's, it's Well, they're there for a reason, and they serve mm-hmm. a function. And when sure. they're missing, then others have to... St- other things have to step up to fill the void right. there, mm-hmm. and and that in essence wears down the right. other stuff quicker. Mm-hmm. Right, and so yeah, it's it's yeah, it's 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 more the function's primary one. The beauty is almost a secondary, right. an ancillary, and, part the, and that comes with it. Mm-hmm. And, the, and but it's not like it's like the focus when we're planning is like how do we get this person looking good, confident mm-hmm. and stuff. But how do we get them functional to where they're their biology is working right because right. then it's a long-term solution at that point then this is like you know people you know we get patients say is there a warranty on this or this and that or how long will this last but if we can get the biology correct get the function correct then the beautiful smile that you and i created will last a really 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 long time because you're not gonna like dr agar said bust off the front tooth because there's no back teeth you know so yeah. if we can get you functioning properly then it's a long-term solution. And I know that's what patients are looking for. Absolutely. And that's, uh, well, uh, for doc- as doctors, that's what we're looking for too because, you know, we don't want to have you in the office three, four, five, six times afterwards. Sure. We want to have a good final result where you're happy, we're happy, and we're confident in what we've um, helped you and, do. And I hate to say this, but I I, I, the, I think that's the same way. I I hate doing things twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate doing things twice. I sure. do anything. Yeah. I get you. you. Know, I'm saying I don't want to do things <laughs> twice. And so let's do it the right way, you know. And I hate apologizing for stuff, right? And so if you kind of compromise what you're doing, and sometimes you have to. Sometimes it's like, hey, look, I just need a quick fix until next month. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. But if that quick fix that we talked about, you don't come back for two years, and you come back and it broke, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry it broke. Yeah. But it, we it, was it, wasn't, it was only designed for a couple yeah, months. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So if we design what we're – tailor our treatments for our patients to be something that lasts, right? I Like for me as, as a dentist, and I don't know for Dr. Asher too – it's one of those things that like that's like the that's the best part of our job is to give something that like you don't have to apologize you don't apologizing for it, you're not compromised for. 
And you don't ever have to do it twice, you know? And it just makes our jobs more fun. And patients' experience is so much better as opposed to going and be feeling like you're just always there. You're always doing this. You're, it just feels like you're always, something's always up. That feeling of something is no longer always up is a really nice feeling. That sure. feeling of like, of, uh, something's always completeness. wrong. Yeah. Yeah, completeness. Yeah, that, that feeling yeah. of something's always wrong. It's, and that's where it really comes from. I <laughs> yeah. Think. When yeah. I was when I was real when I was really young, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I've told you this, Mike, but I wore braces for 12 and a half years as a child. Wow. Yeah. And so you just I would like go wearing to, them? Is this? Come, come on. <laughs> I would go to the dentist every single month. Okay, now I, I went to a general dentist and this is somewhere else, not in this. So it's is a not, bit sweet that irony you became a dentist. Is, it's crazy. This is not a local dentist, just to make that clear. But anyways, I went every single month. And that's how I felt. I felt like this is a re repeat, 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 repeat. And as a kid, I felt like that. And I was like, why am I here? Like, oh, my gosh, you know. And so finally, after it was all done and said, we had switched, you know, the situation, got a different doctor and stuff. And I had the braces off in one year. So that's what Dr. Agar is talking about. It's like, yeah. why? Like, my parents were like, why are we going back every single month? Something is not correct here. You yeah. know, like, it was like something's it was wrong. Repeat, sure. Right? Right? Or, What's that, happening? or that anxiety of like. Like you oh, have I a gotta car, go back. I like gotta you know when is this gonna, gonna be done? Car. When is this gonna yeah. be done? You know, right. so so you're that's not feeling the, like you're making progress. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So so when it, when I had that braces on for a year eleven, you know, <laughs> got them off year twelve, you know, I was like, wow, okay, this person knows what they're doing. I don't have to come back, and the result is really great. Nice. So, anyways, it's but, like you know, like you you know something's wrong with your tire, right? Yeah. And the tire you get in the car, the tire lights on, you're like, oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. But in the back of your head, it's wearing mm -hmm. all day. Every time you get in that car, you're just like. When am I going to make gonna it? Blow? Am I going to make yeah. it? When's it going to blow up? Am I going to make it here? And then an emergency. Am I going to be able to drive to Lubbock? You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all that 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 wariness is hard on patients. It is. It's true, and it, and, it, mm -hmm. and it and it's exhausting. Sure. Whereas if you can not have that, I think that's such a powerful absolutely um, feeling to not feel exhausted all the time, not feel worried. like worried, absolutely. and not feel like oh something's always wrong. That's a it's burden good. you don't have to have. On right. You, you exactly. Um, we're about out of time here, yep. but. Um, Folks, if if and, and and we didn't even get to sleep apnea stuff because Sarah can get help. All, all folks, yes. if you're dealing with sleep apnea, and uh, put it this way, if you're dealing with sleep apnea, and you're thinking I don't I don't want the big CPAP machines. I don't want. Yeah. There's got to be a different option. Schedule appointment yes. to see Sarah here. Yeah. Um, you We've know, been seeing a lot of patients yeah, for lot, sleep apnea. Or the or people are loving them. I'm telling yeah. you, my wife uses yes. one. She loves it. It's, yes. uh, Come it see does us. make a difference. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and uh, so learn more about that. And it's basically wearing a mouth guard instead yep. of having the big machine and the, the breathing and the and all that stuff. <laughs> the, and, uh, I think Absolutely. that they made it look like the Top Gun, yeah. you know, like the like, you know, what Tom Cruise wears. That would look cooler, yeah. but like it is, it's not. Yeah. It literally looks like. Well, not, not to mention the cleaning and all the other maintenance oh. involved. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now this one's a mouth guard. It's like you in rinse Star off Wars. Once in while. Exactly. In Star Wars when, when Luke's inside that water tank and he's got the. The thing attached to his oh, face. Yeah. That's what it looks like. You After know, looks... he had to live in that uh, bathroom or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, the, in yeah. the cold. Yeah. <laughs> we can help with that. <laughs> Probably not so many cold issues here. The but, force uh... is strong with you, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to... Never mind. I was going to make a joke. <laughs> Probably not appropriate. Anyway. <laughs> um, if anybody has any questions... Yeah. Uh, Probably best to come on, call you a call or yeah. go online or what? Yeah, give us a call. Uh, our office phone number is 575 uh, 622 five, five, okay. 555. 555. Five, five. Okay. Uh, yeah. as well. We're, we're right on Main Street 82, yeah. uh, yeah. 824. Right next to the, co the convention center. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I don't even All know. All these my numbers are 822. Yeah. So, so yeah. right, right next between Sonic and the convention and Civic Center yes. is uh, across, from, uh, across from Roswell Ford. There you go. Yes. Yeah. There you go. But uh, <laughs> if you if you're heading from north and you hit Sonic, you went too far. Turn around. And if you're coming south and you hit the yeah. convention center, you went too yeah, far. right on me. If you <laughs> do pass us and go to Sonic, just grab me some tater tots and then come right in. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Perhaps. By the way, uh, we ain't got time. But if you tried the big deal pick the burger they got, oh, no, I have the not. Uh, I keep seeing. Is it good? I had one Saturday or something. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Maybe they can pass me one through the fence there. It was really good. Yeah. I give it a 10. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> On so many levels. <laughs> thank you guys. Okay, I appreciate, thank you. It. appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. All right. Tater